Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be tracking the performance of my June 2017 stock picks. I made these recommendations on May 21st, and since it has been over four months since I made the recommendations, I am calculating the returns with dividends reinvested for the seven stocks that I recommended versus an S&P 500 ETF. So this will be great to see because I always recommend reinvesting the dividends. So this way we will be able to see how the picks really would have performed if you, re if you had reinvested the dividends. Um, and I do always say the short-term performance is not super important. You need to see how they perform in the long-term. Um, and four months is definitely a decent amount of time. So it's a good sense of how we have been doing. But it is still more important to see how we've done after one, two, or three years than after four months. So don't put too much weight on this performance. Um, and if you're new to the channel, I make videos on the stock market and investing. So if you're interested in that, consider subscribing and let's get right into the video. So the first stock that I recommended was Lion Del Bissell, and they are up 25.78% since I made the recommendation. This is an absolutely tremendous performance. I'm super happy with it. Um, it is great to see that they are up so much. The second stock that I recommended for June of 2017 was Delta Airlines, and since I made this recommendation, they are up 7.94%. Um, this is a pretty good return. I am definitely happy with it. Um, as you can see, they've been very volatile since I made the recommendation. They skyrocketed initially and then went down for quite some time, but have recently jumped back up. Um, but overall, great performance from them. The third stock that I recommended was Gilead Sciences, and they have been the best performing stock that I have recommended. They are up 29.46%, um, and this is absolutely amazing performance. I'm super happy with it. Um, I love Gilead. They are a great company. Um, I was super bullish on them when I made the recommendation in June, um, and I'm very happy that they have performed very well since then. And now for the biggest loser of the group is Shire. They are down 19.34% since I made my recommendation. Um, and so I'm very disappointed with their performance. I was hoping that they would definitely do better than this, but you can't win on all your picks. This is really the importance of diversification. We had one stock that was up 30% and one stock that was down 20%. Um, and so these really cancel each other out. If you just owned Shire, uh, it would have been a disastrous four months. But if you owned all of the stocks that I recommended, you uh, would have been doing pretty well. So like I said, important to diversify. It's a shame that Shire is down, um, but I still do have faith in the company. And the fifth stock that I recommended was Realty Income. They are up 6.32% since I made the recommendation. Definitely happy with this performance, just slow and steady upward trend for them. Uh, they do pay monthly dividends, which is great. So we have received quite a few dividends from them. Um, overall, great performance. Definitely happy with it. I love Realty Income as a company. And the sixth stock that I recommended was ExxonMobil, and they definitely started off with a bit of a downturn, but they are pretty much flat since I made the recommendation. They're up 0.26%, um, so not great performance. I still like Exxon, great company. Um, I'm glad that they're out of the red, uh, and so yeah, they are up 0.26%. And finally, the seventh stock that I recommended in June of 2017 was Philip 66 and they are up 19.16%, just slowly and steadily moving upward. Uh, definitely a fan of their performance. Um, great stock. I couldn't be happier. 20% is a great return for just over four months. And since I made that video, the S&P 500 is up 7.25%. So great performance from the S&P 500 as well. But my picks did outperform the S&P 500. They are up 9.94% since I made the recommendations. Um, and like I always say, it is important to look at the long-term results. So it has only been a bit over four months. We need to give it more time to see how they will do. But I'm definitely happy with an outperformance of nearly 2.7% in just over four months. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below and consider subscribing if you haven't already.